Well, thank you, um, Afazi. Well, as usual, uh, Josette gave a very powerful presentation. So um, her passion, uh, her championship in fighting hunger and uh, poverty malnutrition have been highly respected uh, by EPRI colleagues here and probably beyond in Washington. Now, there are so many messages um, Josette uh, has presented here, particularly during Q&A sessions. So I have four take-home messages. So number one is a partnership. So how can we really build the right partnership, the right partners uh, for delivering our impact? The so partners with the private sector is very critical. So we are learning from WFP, from Josette, how to do that. The whole CGIR system is learning from other organizations such as, um, uh, such as WFP. Now with Josette's a new position uh, with WEF, I think the, uh, our engagement with WEF uh, with the private sector probably will be further enhanced. So partnership is so critical uh, to deliver the outcome. The second one is innovations. So Josette mentioned a couple of innovations. One is uh, P4P. So this is a truly uh, WFP innovation, evidence or supported by many other uh, organizations, research institutions. Um, and uh, this uh, electric, electric car uh, innovated to distribute food or others in many African countries. So innovation is very critical. Or oh, obviously coming back to IPRI, to the whole CGIR, the whole CGIR is, is an innovation system. So number three is evidence-based. Josette mentioned about uh, several, uh, it's a several evidence, strong evidence, for example, Lancet, um, and uh, well, obviously the IPRI support um, on Grow Africa. You know, we are a partner, IPRI is a knowledge partner of the new initiative, uh, a new uh, vision of agriculture. So we provide information, knowledge, and evidence to push the private sector to truly engage in something that is socially accountable. So evidence-based. Number four is that we need a comprehensive approach. So nutrition intervention, direct interventions, supplements, fortification, yes, they are very important. Uh, Biofortification, you mentioned about planting the right crop. Actually, uh, it's the right type of a sweet potato. Yeah, it's, uh, bifortified crops. So we, the bifortified potato would have a high level of uh, vitamin A, maybe in the future, a higher content of uh, zinc, iron in rice. Um, so the comprehensive approach also involves linking agriculture to health and nutrition. So I saw um, this one of the large CGI research program in, in one of your slides, linking agriculture to health and nutrition. Uh, so comprehensive approach, direct intervention, uh, right crops, and linking agriculture to uh, nutrition, and plus other type of uh, non-agriculture interventions, you know, sanitation, uh, breast kid, uh, breastfeeding, care, uh, and so on. So above all, above all, we need evidence. We need measures, metrics. The partnership, the Grow Africa G8 Alliance Initiative, the private sector is committed. The government is committed. The development agencies like USID is also committed. But who is going to go there to monitor, to track the progress, or make sure that there is a clear accountability? We don't want it to repeat what happened in April 2009, when the G20, G8 country came together. They committed $22 billion to support global food security. And very quickly, we will lose credibility. If we don't have a clear measure, we don't have a clear tracking system to make sure that the people are accountable, the private sector, the government, um, the, the development agencies. Now, Josette mentioned very, very um, sad pictures about today's hunger situation. 800 million people are still suffering from hunger. Two billion people are still suffering from heat and hunger. So you don't see the people are suffering from hunger. So the hunger is not only a, a right approach. You know, everybody deserves it, entitlement. It is the right approach. Everybody deserves it. It is also economic approach, uh, uh, issue. So every year we are losing trillions, trillions of dollars. But more important is a moral issue. I think 
就那 your photo show you know hungry baby、uh, in in her or his mom's lap. That's very shocking. So it's a moral issue. We got to work together to make sure that、um, everybody in this world is accountable to hunger, malnutrition, and poverty issue. So as we move on towards 2015, so we still have three years towards 2015. That's、uh, That nine of the Millennium Development Goals, we are doing okay in terms of poverty goals. Although the progress really varies by country, but in terms of pov- in terms of hunger, we are very far away from the progress. But even achieving MDG goals, having the number of poor and hungry is not enough. We will still have more than 580 million people in this world. This is not acceptable. So as long as there is hungry children, hungry baby in this world, we got to work hard to eliminate the hunger and the poverty. So for that, Josette, I'm really looking forward to work with you in your new capacity, the WEF.、Um, Josette actually was the first chairman, a chairwoman of the Global Agenda Council on Food Security. I think she formed that that、uh, council. So now I'm the fourth chairman. So I'm really looking forward to provide information, knowledge, evidence from MIPRI for you, for WEF to engage with the private sector, the government, and beyond. So with that, I thank you, Josette. Thank you very much. And I also thank the Farmers Family you know, for coming here every year. I think your your presence really inspired us. Does anyone want to say?、Yeah. Okay, great. I just want to、uh, introduce Paul Smike. Where are you? The World Economic Forum USA. He's somewhere back here. But、okay. Paul is a good connection point for those of you who want more information on Grow Africa or、okay. New Vision.、Okay. Wonderful. Once again, thank you, Josette. Okay. So have a good day.